Good morning beautiful and welcome back to my channel. It is morning for me. I just came out of the shower and today we are going to do a almost full face of XX Revolution. I did order quite some things from the Revolution website. Not all of it but quite a lot of it and we're going to try it out. It is morning here. You can hear the birds chirping in the background and I'm going to put it on and we'll do a full day's wear test and see if any of this is like worth picking up. And if you haven't been here before, hello my name is Angie. I'm a lover of fashion and makeup. Usually I'm a bit more colorful than this but we are gonna do a blue smoky eye today. So if you want to see some more color on your timeline, if you just want to inject some more, you know, playfulness in your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload several videos a week. Okay, I'm sitting here drinking coffee out of my Star Wars mug that has the pew pew. <laughs> I bought this when I was at Disneyland. Is it Disneyland? The one in uh, LA. Well, I'm actually wearing a uh, Star Wars t-shirt as well. Look at me. I'm such a stan. Mm. It is not like super early morning, but it's actually midsummer when I'm uh, filming this. It is... Can you see it? It is... It is five minutes to ten, so it's quite early. It is like at least morning. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this out. Ugh. I'm so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this up. I have my scrunchie and we can start. I do have a foundation and I do have ooh, some powders and bronzer and highlighter and eyeshadow. Wow. And uh, my eyeshadow uh, came a little bit broken. You can see here. Let me show you. I'm gonna use this blue quad. This one is called Experiment and it is uh, the blue one. You can see my blue one came a bit can you see my... Oh, there you can. You can see my blue one came a little bit smushed, so I smushed it back. Uh, so this is a little bit of a mess, but that happens. I will say that when packaging has like this, you can see that there's nothing that's like laying on top of the shadows. It's very easy for them to break. So this is why you should have like a sponge or some kind of foam or something in a packaging like this, because otherwise these are going to break. And that's why I love a good old cardboard packaging, but the packaging is quite nice. I mean, it is plastic, but it feels more heavy duty. I, I, this looks like, this looks like luggage though. And I have a lippy, I have a, duochrome eyeliner. I have one of the eyeliner pens. I do have, oh this is the box for the quad. I do have a exposure highlighter. This is a single highlighter and I have the Gravitate face palette, the one that has like a bronzer, highlighter and blush and I have a foundation. I was so sure that I bought, uh, I bought the Glow Skin foundation. Oh they're really trying it out here. Look at this. Look at this. They're really trying it out here. And I got it in this shade here, FX6. And I did try, hello. I did try a little bit of this. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Can I be like this? I think I'm gonna have to change the settings a bit. But I did buy this in FX6 and I was so sure that I bought a concealer, but I couldn't find it on my order and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm thinking that it probably sold out before I paid and I didn't pay attention. That's what I'm guessing. And I was so sure that I bought this foundation, FX6, that I bought it in a good shade, but I tried it a bit on my cheek. Wow, I'm really scatterbrained today. <laughs> this is pre-coffee, as you can see. So I was so sure that I bought it. Let me look at this. Oh, I got one of this as well. Uh, look, me being scatterbrained. This is the uh, gift bag. I got this for free. I haven't opened it. I don't know what it is, but I will be giving this away towards the end of the video. So do, uh, do stay towards the end of the video. I will be giving this one away and whatever's in it. I'll do a little giveaway. Of course, it's uh, international. It, it always is. Now, let me look at the prices and what this FX6 is because I was surprised because I it's very light. And I usually do not buy foundation that's too light, so I'm a bit surprised. Because the prices of this brand, it's still affordable, but it's not as affordable as you're used to. Yeah, because the foundation is 15 pounds, and I got, like I said, FX6. Uh, it looks like this. It's a really nice packaging. I, I, I really like how the packaging looks. Let me see the... Because I bought three foundations for Makeup Revolution and none of the shades have been good. This says, FX6 says light to medium skin neutral undertow. That is not what this is. Whoever is mixing the shades at Makeup Revolution, they, they, need, they need an intervention because this is not a light, this is not, this is not a light to medium with neutral undertones, okay? That's not what this is. My hands are the lightest on me. And look at this, it is like lighter than my hands and it is so peachy. So yeah, this is an 
let's let's just take some on my face. I have a little self tan on my face, but not a lot. And this is almost light, like this is not a light to medium with a neutral undertone. Maybe neutral undertone, but it's slightly too peachy. But it is. This is this is a light. This is a light with a peachy undertone. According to me, according to me, what do I know? Let's put this on. This was 15 pounds, right? And I mean, 15 pounds is like, it's like $20. I'm gonna have to bronze this up a bit because this is gonna be a little too light, which is weird because I thought I was gonna get a foundation that was like a little darker. So I actually had to self tan to get it, but it was more like I needed to like get, remove my tan to have this. But this is Glow Up with 55 Shades of XX Revolution Skin Glow Foundation, lightweight buildable coverage foundation infused with illuminating pearl particles. 55 shades is amazing, but look at how light this is. But it's not amazing if you don't know how to describe them. I'm just saying. It, it looks nice. It, it is a medium coverage. They say it's a buildable, which probably means that you can go in with another layer if you want even more coverage. And I do like that it has a bit of pearl, pearl in it because I like when a foundation has a bit of a life to it. I don't like a dewy foundation, but I do like a satin. Ooh, what is this? Change the settings a little bit. I don't know if this is better or worse. <laughs> I'm gonna just use some concealer and powder. I think I'm gonna use... Ooh. I'm just gonna use some... Uh, some favorites of mine. I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani concealer because this uh, is so light. This is probably gonna go with it. The HD powder from NYX and the finishing powder from Jaclyn. Just gonna put that on as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go and do my brows. I'll leave some kind of brow tutorial down below because I do have a couple, <laughs> even though no one's really interested in those. But if you are, I will leave a brow tutorial down below if you wanna see somewhat how I do my brows. Let's use the Gravitate palette. I don't know if they're all called this. This one, this one is called Gravitate. Um, this is called the Complexion palette with two X's. They are really out here trying it. <laughs> and this one is also the same kind of packaging, but pink. So, oh, maybe I need autofocus. <sighs> maybe I need it. Sorry. So it has a little plastic like that. So this is what it looks like. See, it's like the same as the other ones. And then here is the inside. I'm not like blown away by what I'm seeing here. Um, but I do think, I think it's mainly me not being all about those bright pink blushes. I think that's mainly the thing. And I also like, this is so dark. But I mean, I do love a dark bronzer, but since I have a bit of a lighter, like this is not matching my arm. <laughs> can you see? <laughs> Nobody can see anything. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let me, let me just, I'm gonna go in with a flimsier uh, brush today for my bronzer. This is the Linda Halbei 310. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this one to make sure that I don't get too much. I'm just going in very lightly since my foundation is so light, but I do need to warm this up because, again, foundation, very light. So I'm gonna start with the bronzer. And I did set my face with the powder before, so this should go on pretty okay. It's very pigmented. It is a bit, like, dark. <laughs> oh well, I do love a bronzy look. I personally think that this is too pigmented to be a bronzer because it goes on too strong which makes it a little bit hard to blend out because it really just bam it's like it's there and I'm just I'm just literally I'm doing this that's what I'm doing I'm not even swirling and you can see it just sticks so I'm not I haven't been 100% satisfied with the last bronzer I got either, so I don't know. Why am I, why am I buying from this brand? This bronzer is not looking good. I'm just gonna grab this one, the hourglass one. I'm just gonna buff this in with a big brush. I got mine in dim light, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> save this, basically. That's what I'm doing. 
So I do think that maybe this uh, like face palette is better if you have a darker skin tone than me. If you're like medium to tan, I think that that palette would be good for you. If you uh, like a very bronzy look, maybe you can get away with it if you're like a light to light medium as well. But if you are uh, of the lighter skin tone, I don't think that this is, this is not the bronzer for you. Let me go in with the blush. I'm just gonna... Ooh, that picked up a lot. And I like putting my blush up here. I like that it's a bit of like sheen to it. Not all about the pinky blushes, especially not when I'm doing like uh, a blue smoky eye, but or am I gonna do a smoky eye? Maybe I'll use some of the lighter one. But yeah, you know what? I like that blush more than I thought I would, but same here. I think it would look even better on you if you have a bit of like, maybe, um, where is my <laughs> Maybe like a medium to a tan skin tone. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use, um, this highlighter, but I also want to use this highlighter. Wow, I am not doing that good. This is the Exposure Multidimensional Powder in Disclosure. And <laughs> I did pick up a single. Uh, I was really trying there with the fixed focus, but it didn't work. Oh, I have it. There's a plastic in this one. This is the same kind of packaging. This one, and then this is the highlighter on the inside. I got one that was like a pinky gold thing. Um, let us see how this one is. Oh yeah, that is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Wow. Uh, okay, that is the one that I am the most impressed by so far. Okay, very impressed putting that on the pants. So I'm gonna use, this is more of a powder like a baked formula uh, and those are usually better with like flimsy brushes and this is the Nabla highlighting brush. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna top it with the other one that's a bit lighter. Ooh, okay, this is my favorite so far. Yeah. Wow. They had so many, that's the thing with this. They had so many colors. I think regardless of your skin tone, you are gonna find something that fits you in this collection. This one. This one. This is the one to pick up. Wow. That looks absolutely stunning. Okay, I am totally blown away by this highlighter. This is definitely worth picking up. How much did I pay for this? Let me look. Okay, the uh, exposure highlighter is 12 pounds, which is not super affordable, but it looks great and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 shades, 12 different shades of this, 12 different shades of a single highlighter. And they have like from the lightest light to a really dark bronze, so yeah. Very impressed with this one. It just looks really, 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 really good. <laughs> Cannot emphasize that enough. And I did like the blush. I just think that, I think that this was just too dark for me, this bronzer, because it looks nice now when I went over it with a bit of, so I just think that this palette is slightly too uh, dark for me. Let me use this highlighter. I'm also gonna see how much this um, this one was. Oh yeah, this is definitely lighter. I'm just putting that on the absolute tippity tops here. You can see that it really uh, made it like brighter. Yeah, that is a nice shade too. Yeah, that is more of a, like an icy pink, which does surprise me a little bit because I don't know if this, oh, it has a bit of a, like a peachy pink shift to it. So this is very light and maybe this is not the absolute best highlighter if the other two products in this <laughs> in this is made more for medium to tan skin tone, but 
yeah or maybe i just had the wrong uh, like brush for a bronzer as well you never know let me see how much the face palette was they do have cream uh, blush palettes as well 18 pounds was the uh, face palette and they did have that in four different shades so they do also have this in even a darker one uh, and that one has like a really nice dark bronzer and like a bronzy highlighter and then they have one that is like three shimmery products and then a fourth one that i don't remember but they did have several different ones let me see if i can get rid of some of this packaging this express quad eyeshadow palette is 10 pounds which i think is a really fair price for a quad and it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shades. And one of them was a really pretty green and one was a really pretty purple. So they do have, and then some really nice other neutral options. And one that has like a black and a red, that one looks really cute as well. I was really interested to getting the purple one, but I didn't want to pick up two unless I knew if they were good quality or not. And this one came a little bit broken, but we are fine. There are two mattes here on the side. And then there's this one really nice blue, like dark, like cobalt blue lilac duochrome with a lot of glitter and shimmer in it it's very multi-dimensional and then we have this shimmery light blue here i'll pop up a bit of swatches over me when i'm drinking my coffee mm. so let me what do i want to do i think i am gonna do something with this one in just a pop like i love doing that shape when it's just like a blob <laughs> of dark matte in the outer corner and like outer V. Oh, I still have that beautiful highlighter here. And then I'm gonna do some of this on the side and then just do the light on so like there's no darkness on the inner part. It's almost like that like foxy, you know that everyone is talking about, the foxy eye trend, but just not as like liner heavy. Instead it's just a like a smoky eye, but only a smoky eye on half your eye. It's a really nice way to really lift your eye and to make it like sexy and and lifted without using a lot of liner. So I'm just going to go in with this uh, lightest blue here. Ooh, yeah, it really picked up with the brush. And I'm going to put that out here. That is not 100% opaque though. I do have my normal uh, Sigma eye primer on. I will link that down below as well. It is still my favorite when I know I'm gonna do dramatic looks, when I know I'm gonna do more neutral looks or not as like super, okay, it really built up though. I love using the Gerard uh, primer because that one matches my skin tone so good. Okay, so I'm basically, I'm like putting it like this and I'm not gonna drag in the color. I'm just gonna keep it out here. Remember when you're working with like really colorful shades, shades that don't necessarily blend into your skin tones, like a purple or a green or even a, like a bright pink or a yellow or a blue, don't overblend because when you overblend, it's gonna turn into a muddy gray and you're gonna look like you've been punched. And that's not what we're after, people. We wanna look like a happy clown, not like a clown that's been beaten up. I'm usually not that concerned with like blending and stuff in the beginning. I just do placement and then the rest, like the rest will follow. This is already so much better than the quads from the Pro line. Those were so sad. I'm just cleaning off my brush a bit just to remove excess. And then I'm gonna start blending the edges a little bit. I'm gonna try and hold really far out on my brush so that this movement is like not too harsh not too sharpy i just want to soften the edges a little bit i'll probably use a little bit of this light blue as well even though it has a bit of shimmer in it i think or maybe not this is very shimmery this is very pretty though wow i hadn't swatched it you saw the swatches but i haven't okay maybe i won't use that one <laughs> Never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, people. If it was more of a satin, you could definitely use a satin in your crease to blend like this or to blend out shadows that you want to diffuse a bit. But when it's too shimmery, it's it's going to be harder. I have to say, this is only one color and I am so impressed. So impressed. This blue color, the shimmery one, it's very... I, don't know if I need a glitter glue with this, but I think I'm gonna try without. 
I can still like it picks up really good. I'm gonna spray it though, and I'm gonna put that in like the, the, the a meeting in the middle. <laughs> They're meeting in the middle, and I'm gonna put it. That is. Oh, this has that strong purple periwinkle shift. This is a really nice high quality shadow. Okay, I am impressed by these quads. Maybe I need more. Huh. Huh. Oh, you always ask me about my small flat shader brushes. I either use this one or I use this one. This one is from Sigma. This is the E56. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. This one, though, is from Kaleidos. Uh, these are just small flat shader brushes. So this one is from Kaleidos. I think it's still available and this one the E56 from Sigma Unfortunately, just that one is discontinued which is a shame because it's so nice and it's so like flat and like slim and I love that so you can be a bit precise. I think I am just gonna do like this and I'm just gonna Like fade it into here a bit now. I'm gonna use I'll take this brush then the E56 from Sigma, and I'm gonna use this blue one, and I'm putting this on the inner part. I'm also gonna like drag it up like this since I don't want any darkness in the inner part. I think I'm gonna use, this is also one of my favorite brushes. I, I know you're asking me about brushes. I'm gonna be better at mentioning. This is the short shader E20. When I did a favorites with Sigma, this one was included. Let us use this teal one then. And we can use that under our eyes. That is pigmented. I will say though, for this to be a quad that's really well rounded for me, this one should have been hey, like a sky blue matte. I would have loved that. That is so nice. Okay, let me do the same on the other eye. Maybe I'll do a bit of mascara as well and I'll come back. Okie dokie. So I have three more products to use. I did do a liner because I have been, ooh, this one. Wait, am I, am I, this Magnetics Dual Chrome Eyeliner. It's this one right here. It has a, you're supposed to shake it, I guess. That's what it is. Let me see if I can show you. I got mine in the color Force. I hope you can see that it is like a bit dual chrome. I've been using this on my hand and I will say it is a bit watery and it's not 100% opaque. So I think that this will work the best if you use it on top of a liner. This one goes from a green to a, it's like a, dark green to a gold to a burgundy so i'm gonna i don't know if this is gonna go with the blue but i am you can see it looks most burgundy on the tip here and i'm gonna use this on top of the black liner because i think that that will be the best way to use these uh, liners because i don't think they will be 100 percent opaque otherwise yeah this is this is definitely it wow okay only two products to use and i'm gonna use the exact eyeliner gel eyeliner pencil and this is so heavy this is metal and it's like square this is nice i got the blue one it is in blazer i got the blue one i'm gonna use it on my waterline i don't know if you do we see any shift with the the the, the, the like the duochrome eyeliner do we see anything I mean, it looks nice on top of the black eyeliner. It looks really nice. I don't know, maybe not in this lighting. Maybe in another lighting we'll see more of a shift. So this is like a dark navy blue. I'm just gonna use this on my waterline. Looks good here, but it doesn't really wanna go on my waterline. Mm. If you like to put liners on your waterline, I don't think that this one is for you. It's not ideal. It, it, I really, really have to go in there. It's not really sticking on there. I mean, I got it there eventually, but it's a shame. It's such a nice packaging. Maybe it's only the blue. I don't know. It worked really good like this. Maybe if you use it on the top lashes, it will be better. But I'm also going to use... This is the... Um, this is the uh, Exude... That's the one. Satin uh, liquid lipstick in sequel. This is a very heavy duty plastic packaging. This one is heavy. This one is, mo this one is more heavy than this one because this is like metal, but this is like a heavy duty plastic, but it could be past. Like I really had to look at it. I'm like, is this glass and metal? But it's a heavy duty plastic, but the packaging is really nice with the same kind of a thing. It smells, 
smells a little bit like vanilla. It's like a darker peachy pinky brown nude. That's a really nice like a darker peachy brownie nude. I like that. I think that's really cute. I'm gonna put on the Huda Beauty hoodie lashes. Like it's already so. It's like it's almost a quarter over eleven. So I've been here for for over an hour, but I've also been looking at some videos while doing this. But I'm gonna put on the lashes. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, and that's gonna be the finished look. And then we can just. I I need to. I need to go about my day. I have stuff to do. Okay, I just blow drying my hair. It's. <laughs> So poofy, but this is the this is the finished look. I really like how this is looking so far Everything is looking really good. The only thing that I wasn't like that impressed by who I would say is the The gel liner and also the face palette the colors weren't hundred percent for me But other than that everything is really nice. This lipstick feels a lot like the Colourpop satin lipsticks They are not hundred percent transfer proof They still feel a bit like, the, this one is maybe a bit more tacky than how the Ofra ones and the Colourpop satin lipsticks feel, but it feels comfortable, uh, it looks really nice. So far I am pretty impressed, uh, I will say the face palette, like I said, not 100% my shade. The shade of the foundation does not represent the shade description on the site, but they do have so many shades, so I'm sure that there are a shade for me. Just, it makes it a bit harder to find that shade. The eyeshadows look really nice, the liner looked really nice, but I do think that you need to layer it on top of a black liner to make it really, like, pop. We'll try and see if we can do something in more natural lighting and we'll see how it looks. The highlighter is my favorite. The highlighter is beautiful. It's my favorite and second would be the eyeshadows, I think. But let's go on with my day. I'm gonna go head to the store. We're gonna have some lunch. I'm probably gonna walk the dog. So I'll do at least a 10 hour wear test. Hopefully I can do a 12 hour. It depends on how late I wanna be up and how long I wanna keep this makeup and if it goes totally south in like less hours than that. But I'll check back with you in a bit. Okay, this is me in more natural daylight. I don't know if you can see anything. Oh, this is great. Here you can really see if I can get in focus. <laughs> I'm going to the store. I'm gonna pick up some food. It's actually midsummer's today, so I'm off. I'm off work even though it's a Friday. But this is what the makeup is looking like. I think it's still looking really good, but I have noticed that the blues, like the shimmers, are starting to crease a bit. So I probably should have used the glitter blue because at least the glittery one was very emollient, so maybe. Maybe I needed a glitter glue, but this is what it looks like when I'm like out and about. You can see the sunlight. <laughs> I'm gonna head to the store. Hopefully the store is still open. Everyone in Sweden celebrates Midsummers, so there's really no one out. I'm kind of alone. <laughs> I thought I'd do a little food haul uh, and just show you the things that I got because this is very like, these things are so typical 
Swedish midsummers. You're supposed to eat your Swedish midsummers like your your feast, your meal. It's new, we call it new potatoes. Basically, it's potatoes from this year. So this always happens in June, and you're supposed to eat potatoes that are from this year. And it, should be Swedish. At least if you're doing it according to tradition, then you're supposed to have some seal. We basically have seal with every major holiday. This is the one that you're supposed to have with Midsummer's. It's called matche. It's a special kind of spices. And then I decided to pick this one up as well. It's an Earl Grey citrus and honey. It's just a new taste. And, and, and seal is basically pickled herring. And that's what's in this one as well. You can even see it you can even see on the front how it's supposed to look. So this is the one that we're gonna have and also you're supposed to have sour cream with it and either shives or red onion. I usually get red onion because it's easier to repurpose if you don't eat all of it. And then some strawberries, it's very typical strawberries to have as like dessert with some, some cream. I usually don't whip my cream when it's with the strawberries but We'll see how we do it today. This is my, if you're living in Sweden, you need to try this one. Råsaft, the apple and pineapple, lime, ginger and mint. You have to try it, it's so good. And you've seen this soda so many times on my channel. I bought two jars just to take me, take me through the weekend. I also bought some chicken. These are just like skewers with chicken that you just put in the oven. It's really easy. Or if you want to do a barbecue, I really like these because they're so easy. These are with the um, cilantro, lime and chili. And I just really, really love how these taste. And it's so easy to put in the oven. And we've just put them together with some of these uh, waffle fries. It's just such an easy and quick meal. And I bought a ready, ready to go sauce as well, just to have something to eat tomorrow if we don't feel like doing some like special cooking. This is with soy, uh, ginger and chili. It's a really nice cold sauce and I really like it. And then I got some snacks. I got some, these are like, I think these are like wheat with honey that's dipped in, um, dipped in some chocolates, really nice snacks, and these are uh, peanut flavored snack rings. These are just like a childhood favorite, and I decided to get some snacks because it is a holiday after all, and we deserve some snacks. And here is, here is this one. Oh, and the vacuum cleaner, because we're, and this one, because <laughs> we we're supposed to be cleaning and then, then we didn't have time, so we'll probably do that this weekend as well. Where'd you go, sweetie? Didn't you want to be with me? Yeah, they are out in the balcony. Uh, uh, and Miss Sleepy as well. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Aww. Oh, is it a bit hot for you? It's a bit hot. Is it a bit hot for you as well? <laughs> are you okay? Do you need a haircut before the wedding? <laughs> we are out walking the dog. The eyeshadow, I think you can... I'm just walking here, closing my eyes. I... Listen, don't do this at home. But my eyeshadow has creased a bit. I'm in the sun, you can't see anything. It has creased a bit, but I'm gonna try and fix that when I get home. I think that this like duochrome purpley... Why am I doing this in the sun? Let me be in the shade. Wait, wait, wait. I think that this like duochrome purpley thing, it is too emollient, it needs a glitter glue. Lipstick has been holding up good, everything on the face looks really really good. I got a little bit of creasing in my smile lines, but everything does that. I will say the quality of the last two foundations I've tried from Makeup Revolution, XX Revolution, Revolution Pro, whatever they're called. Really nice shade selection, I, I, don't, I don't know about the, the descriptiveness of those shades but it looks really nice everything is holding up it's just the creasing of the eyeshadow not gonna knock this palette down yet though need to try it again with like a glitter primer because this liquid lipstick though it turns a bit a bit tacky i think i prefer the ofra and the colourpop satin ones over this one Doesn't he want to? 
Oh, Tesla's no water dog. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you look very awkward. You look very awkward. And as you can see, this is really, really creasy now. But what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to wipe it off. <laughs> I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to put some new on with the e.l.f. glitter glue. And we're going to see if that holds up better. Because I think that maybe this like blue shadow is just a bit too emollient to work without like a glitter glue. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wipe it off just where the creasing is. And I'm just going to try and see if I can put some more on. Because I really like the other shadows. It's just that one that's a bit, I think, too emollient. So let me wipe it off and let's try and see if we can put some on with the glitter glue. Okay, so some glitter glue just on these parts like that and let's put some shadow on top okay so i think that this is where i'm gonna leave it i think it looks really good now when i put some more on so we'll see if this makes it hold up better or if this quad is just doomed to be greasy <laughs> what a day okay it is 22 42 let me show you there you go no you don't there you go <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually been I started putting on this foundation at like 10 o'clock in this morning so it's actually been 13 hours this is a long wear test and let me tell you this is not looking that good right now let me see if I can first of all this is really really creasing I hope you can see the eyeliner has like it's also started to fade a little bit and the eyeshadow is creasing a lot. Ah, uh, and you can see the foundation is not looking that hot either. I am so glowy, which is pretty unusual for me because I have very normal skin. I don't have dry skin, I don't have oily skin, but I will say around the eight hour mark, that's when it really started to like really get very like glowy, <laughs> very dewy very oily and it started to break up a lot around my nose it's all were worn off around my nose I mean, my lips i haven't done anything with my lips throughout this day i should i mean if this had been like a day where i wasn't like testing makeup i would have powdered a bit throughout the day i would have reapplied my lipstick it's i could have probably just put a balm over and it'd be okay but i still have some of the lipstick left throughout the day and i haven't reapplied the lipstick a single time i will say with the eyeshadow i even reapply the eyeshadow with like a glitter glue so it's primer and glitter glue and it's still creased this badly it's the blue one that's the one that's creasing the mattes are so nice i'm so sad that this new shimmer formula is because I don't have dry lids either and I don't have oily lids and I never have any problem with creasing and I rarely have any problems with fading so for for the eyeshadow to look like this and it started looking like this pretty early on in the day and for it to look like this with primer and glitter primer that's not a good sign so I don't I I do like the mattes but the shimmer is so unusable so I mean, if I can't make it work with a glitter primer, then I can't make it work. So yeah, I actually changed my mind about the quads. I don't recommend the quads. The The foundation looked good on me for about eight hours. That's when it started to look a bit so-so. And maybe if you have like dry skin, it would probably look better even longer. So I still think the foundation is pretty okay. And I haven't like, I haven't like blotted or powdered or anything throughout the day, so it probably would have looked better if I did. The eyeliner, it did actually fade a little bit, and that is a shame. The I have nothing left in my waterline. The lips were okay, but I've definitely tried better formulas. The thing that I like the most 
is like the face palette the face palette is okay but the highlighter is still going strong the highlighter is the true star of the show that is the one thing that i would very much recommend and also the foundation looked really good for eight hours normal skin type and if you have dry skin it will probably look better on you even longer the only thing i will say is that the way that they describe the shades online they didn't work for me so I don't know, maybe try and see if you can find swatches or something or maybe find someone that uses the foundation that seems to be the same shade as you. I don't really know, but I don't feel like they were good at describing the shades. I'm gonna quickly open this one and we're gonna, like, because I told you, we're gonna do a little giveaway. Uh, oh, it's like bubble wrap. Let's see what this is. Okay, so there's actually a couple of things here. This is the I Heart Makeup Golden Bar 16 Rich and Luxurious Mattes and Shimmer Eyeshadows. Oh, I'm guessing it's these colors right here. So this eyeshadow palette, and it's also this eyeshadow palette. This is from I Heart Revolution. This is the Unicorn Makeup Pigment Palette. Uh, it looks like this. It seems to be a mix of mattes and shimmers, some colors and pastels. Then it is a Makeup Revolution... Oh, Jelly Highlighter. It seems to be a light gold. A jelly highlighter, that's fun. And then there is a brush. This is a stippling brush. Oh, it's like a dual fiber brush, but these are synthetic ones. That's nice. These are so nice with like really uh, like sheer foundations. I really like that. And then it is a lipstick and this one is a Pro Supreme Lipstick in Venture. It seems to be like a rusty, rusty brownie orange. That's really nice. I also have a bunch of other things laying around here. So I am going to do a giveaway with these things here and I'm also going to include some other things as well because I have so many things right here that I like that I would love to give away. So I will put a pinned comment down below on how you can enter the giveaway, what you have to do to enter, basically all you have to do is be like subscribe. But, but check the pinned comment, I will also put in the pinned comment how long I will keep this giveaway open for. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this turned out to be a so-so video but that's that's how things are with Makeup Revolution and me. We're in a very unstable relationship, me and, and Makeup Revolution. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which is going to be on Wednesday, I think. Bye!